pipe. Desert area. Oof. Ah. It's so bright. After the castle is the desert. That scenery is rare in Gensokyo. For the time being, I think we should call this the fire dust ocean that conceals the sun. So you're going to keep on doing this. Rather than good copy, it just sounds childish. What are you even saying, Momoji? You still have a long way to go if you don't understand. I don't need to. It just sounds ridiculous. Come on, let's go to desert area. Fine. So it's burning bright. That sun doesn't even look real. It almost looks like we could touch it, in fact. Well, we can't reach it. Cerno? Why would you come out here, Cerno? It'd be crazy to come out into the desert knowing you're an ice fairy. It's so hot, even for me. The strongest. This is terribly tiresome. I feel like I'm going to melt. Ooh, are you an ice fairy? She's half melted. Water. Um, even if you say water, there's no water in a desert like this. I feel bad for her, but there's nothing we can do. Well, we'll find water eventually, Sarno. Apparently, it's too hot for her to even conjure up ice. Just to show you how bad this has gotten for her. Hmm. Now, if red thorns means f fatality, then the dark thorns means it lifts us up. We gotta wait for the platform to get back over here, though. We don't take any damage from it either. But that means a wait on the desert. Oh no, it's another hole we can't crawl through. Wait a second. Haha! -ha. Another book of souls. Got all the life we can get. We'll need it. Ah yes, a desert fairy with a spear. Spears are really strong weapons. Anyone who uses a spear will likely not lose. But of course, because we have an oversized sword, a spear doesn't stand a chance. A candy door. Uh-huh. Hmm. This place has a completely different vibe from where we were just a moment ago. A house made of candy is what this is. Ah! Aya! It seems like there's someone inside. Hello? That's Yoshika. Oh no, she stopped feasting on brains and corpses, and now she's feasting on... Chomp chomp, munch munch. Hello? Chomp chomp, munch munch. It's no use. She's totally focused on eating the candy. But we can't wait for her to finish all the candy, there's too much. You're right. She's gonna munch forever. She spawns with candy. Let's just come back later. Yes. Yes. Can't take a photo either. Probably have to get whatever it is that she needs before we can. Well, we gotta get back to the starting area now. Looks like we're gonna pass Cerno on the way. Hi, Cerno. See ya. What the? That parry ability says it's a low probability, but it seems like it's a lot higher than it is. Who knows where we're going? What the? It's another fairy. Oh, but you're tired after that dastardly swing. You can't swing more than four times or you get tired. Spears are extremely powerful weapons in real life, though. One of the best, in fact. There's nothing up there. We can't climb this. Aladdin! One of those magic genie pots. What the? That just went through a wall. Try, trying to fool us, play pranks. Hmm. Let you throw first, and then. Two hits, really? That was it? 
Not as strong as you thought you would be. I apparently found out what the difference between normal and easy mode is too. Apparently on higher difficulties more environmental hazards get added as well as more enemies. Damage seems to be not much different either. What the? Shooting out coins. H hello? Why are you so much tougher? Whoops. Well, let's not waste our time fighting that thing since we don't need to. Another cure book. The heck are you? Alrighty then. Hmm. Down path, left path, and then we got another path across. I think I'd rather take my chances on the other path. Apparently I just saw a flying magical carpet. I think that's all I needed to see for the rest of my life. The heck is that sound? What? How are you supposed to see that coming? Hmm. You can actually tell where it's at based on the shaking of the screen. The shakier it is, the closer you are. Barely block it. All right, there's more than one. These things are actually kind of scary, actually. Why are there so many of them? Not fair. Can you use a cure plus? Oh my! I barely healed at all. Well, we're out of healing items now. Uh, that's kind of not good. Hmm. Greetings. What's wrong? I smell something sweet. Yamame Kuridane. Wow, you must have good nose to be able to smell that. This is the best candy I've ever made. Huh? Oh, because she was buried in the sand pit. I didn't even see her. Good job, Momoji. Well, it's only because I have a good nose. Why are you buried beneath the sand in a place like this? It's quite comfortable. Are you sandbathing? Or are you only sticking in your lower body like it's a katatsu? Anyway, I've been making my candies here instead of in the underworld. But since they are made to order, they do not hold up well. That is the point that can be improved on. Hmm? Uh, made the order. Like someone asked for one. I made it for Kasume. I was staring at a cookbook and then all of a sudden I found myself here. Oh, Kasume is above at the base. Uh, Momoji, you idiot! Uh, you know where Kasume is? Then I would like you to deliver this to her. See, I knew this was going to happen. I don't want to run such a meritless errand. We're already running enough for your article of Bun Bun Maru. I thought out of anyone you could deliver it before it expired, but I guess it's a bit too much. I heard that you were fastest. Fine, leave it to me. This fastest Tengu would deliver this in no time. Too easy. It will expire in one minute. If you can't deliver the candy by then, it will go bad. Well then, best of luck. Oh, a minute, eh? Well, there's only one solution to this. I'm gonna use a portal here. Kisume, we have candy for you. Phew, how's that for speed? Hmm? That's heavy aroma. That candy I asked your mommy for. Did you bring it? Of course. Calling it an errand is kind of offensive, though. Anyway, it's clear now that the fastest thing in Sokyo isn't just a title. Thank you. Munch, munch. Now then, I'm going to tell your mommy that we accomplished the mission. Who knows, we might get a reward or something. Uh, I might want to unequip that before we accidentally use it. And then head back to Yamami. Ouch. 
and it's time to jump. We deliver the candy in less than 10 seconds. Wow, you're able to successfully deliver it. Thank you. As a reward, have this long lasting candy. We've received candy. Unbelievable. It possesses a special ingredient that can satisfy any and all gluttons. Not only does it hold up well, it also has rich flavor of depth, so please enjoy it. Now if I recall, considering that they're in the ground, of course, we can drop down. What the? Nice try. Oh, you got me with that one though. Oh no, not th I, I don't like the sound of that. It's another one of these things. Get out of here, you monster. Is there actually a way to not get hit by it? How much health do you need? Hmm. Apparently if you're just out of its range. I don't even know if this thing has a life bar. I feel like this thing can't die. Well, no use wasting our time. Scary thing with the chicken though is it can just come on a dime and do way too much damage to you. It makes you want to take just little strolls and hope you don't actually get hit. I didn't know that. Apparently, if during the time that it's up, it's actually considered invincible. Wait, what the heck is this? I wonder what the stone slate is. Some sort of writing on it. Can you read it, Momoji? No, this writing isn't used in Gensokyo. According to my intuition, this must be a key item. But we can't read its special characters, right? If only we knew someone with a vast knowledge. Oh. Oh? I just thought of someone we can count on. What a coincidence, me too. Let's go back to base. I see the ancient stone slate. That any use to us. Uh, apparently it's a stone slate found in a mysterious ruin beneath the desert. Of who knows where. That means we gotta go all the way back to the base and talk to the Kozazu, whatever her name was. And maybe she can decipher it. On our way back, however, there are definitely more things to explore. I look for us gonna fall from the ceiling. Hope it's not another one of those sand monsters. We can break these sphinxes, but I'd say it'd be best to return first before we decide to actually do anything with them. Wait, this is another path. The heck is in here? Hmm. A golden casket? Well, now we definitely gotta go return. We got too much stuff on our hands. We got a text we gotta decipher, and we got a casket for Kasumi. Is there anything up here? Nope, apparently not. Alright, back to the base. Apparently we had to travel back to where Yamame was for the portal. Hmm, let's talk to Kozuzu first. We got an ancient tablet out of the desert. Can you explain this? Where did you get that stone slate? We found it in desert area, but it has writing on it that we don't understand, so we can't read it. Unintelligible writing that can't be read. Please, leave it to me. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> this is an incantation. Incantation? Uh-huh. Open the blocked path, judging from that. You should use it at a place that is blocked. We haven't come across any, though. I see. In that case, it might be good to search the desert area some more. Something blocked. I wonder if it means a huge stone statue. Is there a scratch paper? Oh. Here the translated text of the writing on the stone slate. Please take it with you. We received an ancient spell from Millennium's long past. 
Supposedly it can unlock a hidden passageway in the desert. And a casket. The strangely glowing coffin of Tutankhamun. Feel free to go inside, but be careful not to get cursed. Don't mess with the dead. Bad luck. Just hear me, we got you something new. Hope you don't get cursed from this. That... Huh? Um... This gold coffin? Nods. It's of no use to us. Well then, I'll put it right here. Yay. How is it? It's a little big, and gives me a bad feeling. I don't think it can replace a bucket. Is that so? That's unfortunate. But thank you. I'll give you this. Gained a passive skill, Wild Instinct. What does that do? Sounds like a skill for Momiji. If you time it right and block enemy attacks, your stamina will recover. So it's a perfect block mechanic. Hmm. Well, they're both pretty good things, actually. Basically, you don't have any stamina loss on blocking. Both of those are actually really good. I have to play around with that. Anything else to say? It's cursed. Tutankhamun. Oh, uh, she's slowly becoming a once lost pharaoh. Now let's see here. We gotta tour the entire lower right, it looks like. Let's make way there. 